how far Putin will go in this war. Well, you know, as some of our guests have said, Christina, o over the course of the last hour and a half, that uh, they hope that this will be a wake-up call for uh, uh, for countries around the world uh, because there is kind of a new uh, a, a change in, in the global environment that is that is happening here with with Russia and China uh, and Iran. Dot com. We can get all the up-to-date information. We'll see you uh, six thirty tomorrow morning with Rob Finnerty. Hi, I'm Jane King, and this is new to the street in person back here at the NASDAQ market site in New York City. This show is all about public, private blockchain companies, the CEOs, the founders, and the innovators bringing you lots of opportunities to consider. Here we go. Sonics is a biotech company working to fight COVID-19 with two different next generation COVID vaccine candidates, an antiviral and also a treatment for long COVID. And with me is CEO Seth Letterman to explain where they are in this fight. And, and Seth, I look forward to your update because I know the last time we talked, you were working on a vaccine as well. So um, looks like you've got a broad uh, number of candidates here, broad, broad number of products to fight COVID. Can you bring me up to date on what you've got going? Thank you, Jane. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, we're working in a number of different ways on COVID because no one could have predicted how wily this virus could be, how much it's mutating, how much it's frustrating all of our efforts to evade it. Currently, there are three arms to the fight against COVID, the mRNA vaccines, the uh, antivirals, and the monoclonal antibodies. And what we're finding is that the existing mRNA vaccines have limited abilities. They have short duration of protection, only four to six months, and they don't block forward transmission. On the antivirals, really you have remdesivir from Gilead as being the anchor of the antiviral uh, treatment. And that's already uh, had some resistance strain documented against it. Um, the Pfizer drug is very interesting, but it's limited because it can, can't be taken by many people who are older on other medicines. And then finally, the monoclonal antibodies, there were four approved, and now two of them have, have been shown not to work against Omicron, so they aren't working. So we're not in a good position right now as a country, as, a, as humanity, in terms of fighting COVID. So Tonics is proud to have many programs underway. We really think that by having more programs underway, we're able to take the expertise we have in animal models, in looking at the human immune response, and in understanding the virus itself to bring forth better candidates. Mm -hmm. So one of our um, vaccines is a um, live virus vaccine, TNX 1800, and we believe that will provide durable immunity, um, you know, for years, decades, maybe a lifetime, because it's in a live virus vaccine vector. We have an antiviral um, that has recently uh, been studied by NIAID, that's Dr. Tony Fauci's division, and shown to be 65 times more potent than remdesivir and to work together with remdesivir in an additive way. And then also um, long COVID, huge problem. About a third of people who recover from COVID get long COVID. And we have a treatment that we expect to be in clinical trials this half uh, to start to address long COVID.
Is there efficiencies in working on all four of these, even though they're not exactly the same thing? Is there some overlap that helps with the development? Yes. And that's an excellent question. And that's why we, we are working on them, because we do feel that we can take the expertise in, you know, large animal models, non-human primates, small animals, um, hamsters, mice, et cetera. And then um, also, you know, in tissue culture in the lab, uh, that all of those are uh, similarly used across the different modalities, and we have expertise in all three. Furthermore, um, you know, we're studying in, in two programs that we've publicly disclosed, CoveLogic and, and Precision, we're studying the human immune response to COVID. So uh, together, all of these things give us, I think, an advantage of seeing a bigger picture and in um, efficiently studying these different things. And also, as I think we spoke about last time, we have a approximately 40,000 square foot facility in Frederick, Maryland, that um, is dedicated completely to, you know, virus, antiviral vaccine research. Frederick, Maryland is, you know, right in the heart of the biotech corridor. And not only that, the biodefense and pandemic preparedness uh, corridor of um, Maryland. And, you know, that's a very important uh, aspect in our ability to run these programs and really contribute to the fight against COVID. Well, thank you, Dr. Letterman, uh, for explaining that and um, good luck on your efforts. And um, it's a fight I think we're going to be fighting for quite some time. Thank you, Jane. Keeping your four-legged friends healthy can certainly be a challenge, especially with painful joint diseases like osteoarthritis. If you see a change in your animal's mobility, contact your veterinarian and don't wait. Today, veterinarians have a new tool against joint disease. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. The natural-derived product has the ability to help your animal move more freely. Put the Spring back in their lives for a longer, happier life. Here at Glint, we're making money fairer. How? By using gold. Glint lets you store, exchange, send, and spend multiple currencies, including gold, through a simple iPhone or Android app. You can spend your currencies and your gold in small or large amounts using the Glint MasterCard. Register for your Glint account today by downloading the app from your favorite app store. Glint, the global currency. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland. Using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. Clones in-house can severely drain both quality and costs for cannabis and hemp businesses. Pharma Green Biotech is the key to growing high-quality plantlets. Pharma Green Services includes premium tissue cultured starter plantlets and live preservation of any plant species. Grow into the future of optimized plant growth with Pharma Green. See our update at update.pharmagreen.ca. Cyber attacks are a global threat affecting consumers and companies. Whether you're using your computer or mobile device to bank, shop, or work remotely, your privacy and corporate data are at risk. For over 20 years, Strikeforce Technologies has developed some of the world's leading cybersecurity solutions. Millions of users around the world have put their trust in us to protect what matters most. Your privacy and data are your business. Protecting it is ours. Visit StrikeforceTech.com today. is a one-of-a-kind app that uses gold as real currency to pay for goods and services. And in fact, millions of merchants and over 2 million ATMs in more than 200 countries accept the Glint card. And with me is CEO Jason Cousins to talk to us about Glint. So I've always been fascinated with this product because it's so unique. We've done a couple interviews. Just bring me up to date. What's been the latest in the past month or so since we spoke? Well, I think, I think we were talking about the, the cost of living last time as well. 
Well, and we know that's going up. Yeah, I mean, this 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 last week they've announced that it's at 7.5 percent. So that right. is out of control. That's right. Well, and some people even think that that's low. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, well, the, if you look at housing, it's up 19 percent. Meats yeah. up 30 percent. You know, so yeah. Yeah, that, absolutely. that's the number the government gave us. So it's still high. Yeah, and, and interestingly, actually, when we look at our client accounts. Uh, the amount of gold that they have in their accounts over the same time the inflation has gone up to 7.5 percent has also increased by 30 percent. So our clients are very aligned with what we're doing at Glint and they're aligned with the, the threat mm. of inflation. So was that kind of the big picture for you? The gold was just a store of value and so many monetary systems are so uncertain right now? That's right. You know, uh -huh. I think in 2008 I realized that uh, a bank isn't a risk-free deposit of, mo of mm. money and I also realized that the money doesn't uh, maintain its purchasing power over time. In fact, the US dollar in my lifetime has lost more than 80% of its purchasing power. And this is before this latest inflation surge that we're yeah. seeing now, yeah. which I think maybe we're not, the end, we're not seeing the end of that yet. No, it doesn't. We still have the same issues. We yeah. still have supply chain issues and labor shortages, all the things that are contributing, government spending yes, right. that are contributing to this. So um, so tell me about, and I know you have before, but just for people who haven't seen it, the, the Glint card. How does it work? Yeah, so uh, with Glint, we've enabled for the first time ever gold as everyday money. So you simply download the app, we send you a, a debit card, a MasterCard, and you can deposit money in there and buy gold. You can buy as little as one cent's worth of gold or millions of dollars worth of gold. And we've made it easy to save, to spend and to send. Mm -hmm. So you can literally walk into your grocery store and buy your groceries with an ounce with some gold. Right, no, and, and that's fascinating. And so the retailer or the restaurant or whatever doesn't know, they just know the transaction right. has gone through. Yeah. It's subtracted off your gold balance. That's right. Right? And it's just easy. I was with yeah. you once for lunch and you paid in gold. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah. super easy. We're on our own personal gold standard. Yes. <laughs> well, we may need to be in some day. Yeah. So um, you have a new partnership. Do you want to talk we about do. that? We do. We do. We're really excited, actually. Uh, one of the world's biggest global uh, producers of precious metals has just invested in Glint. So I'm very pleased to say they've invested. It's Sabania Stillwater. Okay. They're, on the, they're listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and also here at the New York Stock Exchange. Okay. And they're very focused on ESG and sustainable mining. Oh, wow, that's great. So what does that mean for Glint, this partnership? Well, I think what's really interesting is it connects the kind of um, sustainably mined gold that mm -hmm. Sabania produce with everyday money. That's, that's really what I think the partnership can give us in the long term. Um, you've got to remember that what Glint is doing is we're building a, um, a gold-based alternative to um, banking, payments, and money. Mm -hmm. And we have the capability and we have the opportunity and now the funding as well mm -hmm. to build out a gold-based, a global gold-based um, financial yeah. payments ecosystem. Wow, and you're already in 200-something countries, right? How, that's right. That's about every country in the world. <laughs> well, we're capable, we're capable of issuing accounts in over 200 okay. countries, and okay. we can issue our card. Mm -hmm. um, we've been issuing that in 37 countries, including the UK, Europe, and the USA. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the, the future hold for Glint? And this is a, a major partnership, so I feel like this could launch you into some great things. Yeah, it can. We're, very, we're really, really excited mm -hmm. about what's possible. Um, you know, uh, and as I said, this alternative, this gold-based financial system that we're building, there's an alternative to, to banking, uh, also to uh, the existing banking system, but also to cryptocurrencies, is really, I think, what the world's being needing is, is we really want this alternative. Everyone trusts gold, and everybody knows it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great store of yeah. value. And uh, with everything that's going on in the world right now, we want to give people that reliability. And I think the partnership with Sabania helps us deliver on our vision of a world where everyone has an equal opportunity to prosper. And we're doing that by delivering this reliable form of money. And you mentioned crypto. There's no crypto involved in this? No, not at all. Okay. No. We, you know, cryptocurrency, uh, they, the people involved in that have a similar vision to Glint, mm. um, which is you know, a reliable form of money. But we do it with gold. We don't see why we need to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. We've mm. enabled it with our cutting edge fintech to mm -hmm. enable gold as money. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I bought my flight uh, here. We're in New York. It's great. I bought my hotel mm -hmm. here. I've been to Denver and Salt Lake City with our teams yeah. are there. Uh, it's, it's and you just used, used, used the card the whole way yeah, and did it. I yeah. actually signed up for it. I haven't put any money in it yet, but yeah. I do have an account. So yeah. Get some money in up. and start protecting yourself from inflation. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, well, um, thank you. So, and just give everybody an idea.
idea of how how do you sign up for? Somebody's interested, where do they go? How do they it's do really this? It's really easy. Well, first of all, you could go and look at our website to get more information. So that's at glintpay.com. Okay. But of course, we've got an Android and an Apple iOS uh, apps. So you can just go to your favorite app store, download it. It only takes three minutes to, for, in most cases, to register. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'll be up and running in no time. Yeah. So, uh, it was pretty easy for me to do it. I just need to get the money over there. So <laughs> thank you so much, thank Jason. You, always good to see nice you to and to you. always interesting to hear your updates. Thank you. Here at Glint, we're making money fairer. How? By using gold. Glint lets you store, exchange, send, and spend multiple currencies, including gold, through a simple iPhone or Android app. You can spend your currencies and your gold in small or large amounts using the Glint MasterCard. Register for your Glint account today by downloading the app from your favorite app store. Glint, the global currency. Keeping your four-legged friends healthy can certainly be a challenge, especially with painful joint diseases like osteoarthritis. If you see a change in your animal's mobility, contact your veterinarian and don't wait. Today, veterinarians have a new tool against joint disease. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. The natural-derived product has the ability to help your animal move more freely. Put the Spring back in their lives for a longer, happier life. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. in-house can severely drain both quality and costs for cannabis and hemp businesses. PharmaGreen Biotech is the key to growing high-quality plantlets. PharmaGreen services includes premium tissue cultured starter plantlets and live preservation of any plant species. Grow into the future of optimized plant growth with PharmaGreen. See our update at update.pharmagreen.ca. Cyber attacks are a global threat affecting consumers and companies. Whether you're using your computer or mobile device to bank, shop, or work remotely, your privacy and corporate data are at risk. For over 20 years, Strikeforce Technologies has developed some of the world's leading cybersecurity solutions. Millions of users around the world have put their trust in us to protect what matters most. Your privacy and data are your business. Protecting it is ours. Visit StrikeforceTech.com today. The Gary Sinise Foundation was established over 10 years ago under the philanthropic direction of award-winning actor and humanitarian Gary Sinise, uh, who is a staunch supporter of veterans, first responders, defenders, and with me is Gary Sinise. Welcome, and uh, great to hear about this and talk about this foundation. So it's such a great cause, and I guess just give me a little history. So I know September 11th had a lot to do with kind of your launching of this. So take me back and tell me how this all came about. Well, uh, thank, hey, thanks for having me uh, today uh, to talk about it. Um, you know, I'm, I, I've got I've got a long history with veterans going back a, a long way pre uh, pre Forrest Gump and, you know, back into the 80s and all of that. So many, many seeds were planted along the way. First, with the veterans in my own family, many veterans on both my side and my wife's side of the family. Um, and then. Uh, you know, I got involved with Vietnam veterans groups back in the 80s in Chicago. I grew up in Chicago, Illinois. I started a theater company there with my pals called Steppenwolf. And then we um, um, back in the early 80s, uh, after meeting my wife and engaging in conversations with her Vietnam veteran 
brothers and her sister was in the army. She was married to a Vietnam veteran who was in the army. Uh, I just got to, to, to feel a lot of compassion and uh, for, for what our Vietnam veterans went through. So I started working with different Vietnam veterans groups in Chicago and my theater company. I, I directed some uh, theater material that uh, kind of created a whole veterans night. It was uh, material written by Vietnam veterans. We invited Vietnam veterans locally to come and be a part of it. So that kind of established a real strong connection there. And then 10 years later, I, I played a Vietnam veteran in Forrest Gump and he was a wounded veteran. So that started me working with our wounded back uh, in the nineties uh, through the disabled American veterans. And then it seems like all those seeds just were planted and it, it took hold in, uh, you know, a much more significant action filled way after the, the terrible attack on on our country on september 11 2001 and then we started deploying to afghanistan and iraq people started getting hurt and people started getting killed and i just said uh, i gotta get in this game here so i gotta support these folks i wanted to make sure that our iraq and afghanistan veterans got the support that our vietnam veterans didn't get when they came home from war and when they were dealing with being off in the jungles of Southeast Asia. So I just started going to Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, was volunteering for the USO and military charities and uh, playing concerts for the troops and doing all, all kinds of things. And it all just snowballed into the creation of my own foundation, the Gary Sinise Foundation. It almost sounds like you were born to do this in a way. So. Uh -huh. So tell me about the foundation then. Um, so I know you've done a lot of things already. Can you give us some of the examples that you've done. You mentioned Iraq, Afghanistan. What are some other projects? Oh gosh, the foundation. Um, well, as I as I said, prior to the creation of the foundation, and now we're uh, we're almost. We're coming up this summer on the end of our eleventh year. So uh, this past June, June two thousand eleven. Or no, June uh, 2021, we, we reached our 10 year point. And uh, but prior to that, uh, as I said, I was volunteering all over the place uh, to try to help wherever I could. And, and that one of the ways I did that was by engaging with many, many military focused veterans, focused first responder focused nonprofits. What were they doing? How were they helping? Who were they helping? And was there a way that I could help them help more people? So I volunteered for maybe 25 or 30 different organizations. And I just felt at, at a certain point, hey, I'm in this game. I'm going to start uh, my own foundation. And having been involved with all these other organizations, seeing what they did, they were working with our wounded. They were obviously like uh, the USO entertaining troops at home and abroad. Uh, they were uh, dealing with the hospitals. They were working with Gold Star children who had lost a parent. So a lot of different initiatives there that I was supporting prior to the creation of the Gary Sinise Foundation, building homes for very, very badly uh, wounded service members who have very specific uh, physical challenges that, you know, just a regular house might not not sure. work for them. So we just started doing all kinds of things. And when I created the foundation, I wanted to continue to do all those things. Mm -hmm. So that's why the, the, the mission of the Gary Sinise foundation is so broad. There's a lot of things going on that we're doing all over the place in many different spaces. And that's, that's because that's what I was doing before I started the foundation. Yeah, well, I'm going to take a look at that. And I'm assuming you have a website too, where people could go find out more, make a donation if they so wish to do so. Absolutely. Okay. GarySinniesFoundation.org. Okay. You know, and I'm just curious, like being in Hollywood and how did you be, how did you stay so grounded and, and realize that, you know, the sacrifices that people make and, and average people, how are you able to kind of navigate that whole world and still say it as a grounded person? <laughs> I, well, I, I just come from, a, you know, my, my family's a working class uh, background. My grandfather was a World War I veteran. He drove an ambulance on the front lines in France when he was 17 years old and then came home, married my grandmother, uh, had three sons. My dad was the youngest of three boys. The, the two oldest went to World War II. My dad was in the Navy uh, during the 50s, the early 50s, during the Korean War. Um, my grandfather worked on the railroad for 40 years. I've got his, in fact, 
<laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> this is cool. This is my dad's and my grandfather's. You can kind of see oh, it. Oh, that's great. Uh -huh. It's a railroad watch. Okay. He gave me this in 1969. Uh, and it says for his grandson, 1969, uh, on my 16th birthday. Oh, and, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I have these special things that, that, that mean a lot. My grandfather was a, he was kind of an intimidating guy because he was one of these Italian guys who was just very gruff and, and sort of, you know, scary and stuff. And I wished I'd, I'd talked to him more about his warriors, but I was, I was being a teenager at that time when he was still alive. Uh, but I write about him in my book. I have a book called Grateful American. It's, it kind of tells the story of how I got into all the mm. service stuff and going through theater in Chicago and then Hollywood and movies and TV and all that. And it, all of that really manifested itself into a full-time yeah. service life. Yeah. That, that's, that makes it all worth it. Well, thank you so much, Gary, for coming and telling this story and for doing everything that you do. And I hope you raise a ton of money. I know you've touched a lot of lives. So it's my absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh -huh. Here at Glint, we're making money fairer. How? By using gold. Glint lets you store, exchange, send, and spend multiple currencies, including gold, through a simple iPhone or Android app. You can spend your currencies and your gold in small or large amounts using the Glint MasterCard. Register for your Glint account today by downloading the app from your favorite app store. Glint, the global currency. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. Keeping your four-legged friends healthy can certainly be a challenge, especially with painful joint diseases like osteoarthritis. If you see a change in your animal's mobility, contact your veterinarian and don't wait. Today, veterinarians have a new tool against joint disease. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. The natural-derived product has the ability to help your animal move more freely. Put the spring back in their lives for a longer, happier life. Cyber attacks are a global threat affecting consumers and companies. Whether you're using your computer or mobile device to bank, shop, or work remotely, your privacy and corporate data are at risk. For over 20 years, Strikeforce Technologies has developed some of the world's leading cybersecurity solutions. Millions of users around the world have put their trust in us to protect what matters most. Your privacy and data are your business. Protecting it is ours. Visit StrikeforceTech.com today. Well, in this day, when it seems like we're hearing about hacks on a daily, sometimes hourly basis, uh, Secure provides uh, secure email messaging. They're going to be unveiling some new features as well for communication tools later this year. And with me is the CEO Alangahi of Secure to talk about um, the company. And then also I wanted to ask you about this Microsoft Teams being targeted. And it looks like these hackers were putting in malicious links in the chat room. These guys never stop coming up with ways to infiltrate our devices. It's unbelievable. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, hi, Jim. Hi, everyone who's watching us. The, the problem is that, again, the Microsoft uh, ecosystem has been hacked several times, and now the source code is stolen. You know, But anybody can get into Team. As a matter of fact, half the time when somebody sends me a Team link, it really doesn't work. Uh, I hate to say um, Google works better, even though I'm not a mega fan of Google. Uh, <laughs> and Zoom works great, even though I know that they're sending all the data to Facebook and China. So basically, it's kind of you have to choose a less of all evil. The, the problem with those uh, 
chat and those links being embedded, basically the Trojans, as they call, like the Trojan horse of, uh, of Troy, where it basically, it comes in as a friendly thing, and then you click on it, and it becomes a malicious thing. Uh, you have to really be wary of uh, who you communicate with, uh, and then also, if there's a link, you want to double check with the person, hey, did you just send me that link, right? And sometimes that person may have sent you a link in the case of these big tech open source system, and the link has been changed without anybody's knowledge. Uh, at Secure Messenger, for example, we have a way to counter that. Um, first of all, nobody can just get in. You can't just type somebody's phone number and get in. So there's a lot of safety uh, barriers there. But let's say if you're chatting with someone on Secure Messenger and you post a link, it does warn you first, hey, you're getting into an outside environment because we don't let these links um, in our system. It's literally opening a whole different parallel system that doesn't infect the chat itself. And typically, if you have a closed loop, like, you know, people that you know, they have to be vetted. I think there's a vetting process. I think that's a good way to look at it, like KYC in the financial industry, which is know your customer, that's for anti-money laundering, et cetera. We do the same KYC process in a way with our technology. A, you need to be vetted. You need to have my secure number. I need to accept you even when you have my secure number. So, you know, that's a lot of vetting before you can even get in to be my contact. Right, and at right. that point, Jane, I know who you are. And because our system doesn't send anything outside of the internet and all of the communication happens within our secure uh, Swiss infrastructure, nobody can come in and put some kind of Trojan link. So that's that's what's really cool about Secure Messenger. Yeah, so it's unfortunate, um, you know, Microsoft is the most ubiquitous uh, uh, company when it comes to technology, and we hear that every day or something, whether it's Team, uh, Office 365, Exchange Email, I mean, you name it. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's kind of incredible that these guys, they don't only apply their ingenuity to like creating something that would be productive for the, for the workforce. That would be, that would be, yeah, they'd probably be billionaires. Because they data mine you, um, essentially the hackers can come and get your data mining data and they know who's communicating. So if you're the CEO of a big company and you have some big news release, for example, that's coming up, they already know you're using team. They're going to hack you and they're going to manipulate the stock price maybe of that company. I mean, that's the sky's right. the limit when you want to when you want to do bad things, right? Well, and manipulating I, people's data. Well, thank you so much, Alon. Look forward to our next conversation. Thank you. Happy to be here. Here at Glint, we're making money fairer. How? By using gold. Glint lets you store, exchange, send, and spend multiple currencies, including gold, through a simple iPhone or Android app. You can spend your currencies and your gold in small or large amounts using the Glint MasterCard. Register for your Glint account today by downloading the app from your favorite app store. Glint, the global currency. The Missoula app is designed to help kids learn to budget, and it's built around privacy, which is key for a lot of parents. And with me to explain a little bit more, Rick Lane, technology policy expert, also child safety advocate, currently serves on Riga, which is the parent company of the Missoula app, uh, the outside advisory committee, and then also Aaron Sturm of State Line Kids um, to explain a little bit more. So, Rick, just remind everybody about the Missoula app, and if there's been any updates with it since the last time we spoke a couple months ago. Yes. Um, first of all, thank you for having me, Jane. Uh, this is uh, always a great opportunity to talk about you know, what we believe is an amazing uh, financial app for kids, uh, the Missoula app, and as you mentioned, the Rego co um, parent company, which uh, has other products and services 
as well that's tied to the protection of kids' financial transactions. Uh, right now, the Missoula app continues to roll out. Um, we're very excited about the uptake and, and people's adoption. I'm excited about the response uh, from parents uh, and who are using it. And in terms of new features, I, I just think we're making our features better. I mean, we have some new features on the horizon that will be coming out that I can't talk about publicly um, that we're very excited about. Um, but we believe that the foundation and having the Missoula app um, as part of a child's interaction um, in retail stores or online um, is a critical feature in this new cashless society. Mm -hmm. And then, Erin, tell me about Stateline Kids and how you got involved with the app. Sure. So Stateline Kids is a community resource for parents living, working, and playing in northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. We basically try to make it easier for parents to find information about things that'll help you know, raise their kids. So these might be things like what were a list of the schools in the area, um, events coming up, various things to just make it easier to get out and go with your family. So I heard about the Missoula app through a Moms Meet organization. And I have kids that are coming into the age of getting interested in money, wanting to earn money. So I thought this was a great way to introduce that to them and bring a little technology into their lives. Yeah, I mean, that's probably where the future is going with managing money, so it's good they learn, you know, how to do that. Um, Rick, tell me about what features you're most excited about with the Missoula app. Sure, the one feature that's exciting is the donation buttons, obviously the management of money. Um, again, we're learning financial literacy, which is key. A lot of schools are beginning to focus on that now. And so it's great to have an app that helps supplement what kids will be learning in the schools. Um, it also helps parents understand and manage money because let's, you know, the, the reality is a lot of parents don't understand it as well. Um, and this gives them an opportunity to learn a little bit about cash management and money management. So that's very exciting. The other thing that we're really excited about is beginning conversations um, with different retailers um, about the Missoula Kids Pay button. Um, that's an exciting opportunity for Missoula and Rego. And the concept behind it is that you have a Google Pay button and an Apple Pay button um, on different uh, retail websites. And to have a Missoula Kids Pay button where a child can use that with and, and buy products um, online um, without having their personal information uh, collected by anybody within the ecosystem. And so that Missoula pay button is something that we're excited about. Um, the technology is ready to go. And we're in these early conversations with retailers to try to get that Missoula kids pay button on their websites. Well, thank you so much, Aaron and Rick, uh, for coming and explaining this. You know, I think it's important that kids learn this early and that can save them a lot of headaches and problems later in life. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for having us. And the app is on the App Store, the Google um, App Store as well, Android App Store, um, as well as visiting uh, Missoula.co um, to download the app. So hopefully people will check it out. OK, great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh -huh. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. is an open source design platform to empower and reward independent creators in the metaverse and the physical realm. And with me is the founder and CEO, Wahid Thomas, to explain what Faith Tribe is all about. So let's just start there, Wahid. First, welcome. Great to see you. And Thank you for having me. Just tell me, what is Faith Tribe? Yeah, so uh, Faith Tribe is a community. Okay, Faith Tribe is what we used to call our community for 21 years because Faith Connection um, uh, really is a very different brand. It's a high-end brand 
but it's exciting. It's the only one that really pioneered open source fashion. And what that means um, is we allow designers and artists from all over the world to contribute to our clothing and our fashion designs. It's very different to say Gucci or Prada, et cetera. They're very exclusive, great brands, but we like to think of ourselves as very inclusive. And so when we, for 21 years, had all these great artists in Miami, in New York, in London, and Hong Kong, we called them the tribe. And not until last year, at the, we were at the right place at the right time with this huge boom in NFTs and you know the whole concept of individualization and customization of digital art, uh, where we um, in a in a perfect position to say, hey, let's pivot to Web3 and let's do something out of this faith tribe. And let's really scale it up so that we could attract more than just the dozens of designers that we have all over the world in different cities and actually bring it to hundreds, if not thousands of designers. Yeah. Okay. So you started out as a fashion company, like real world, right? And, and, are, then, yeah. and you're just pivoting, adapting. I mean, in fashion seems like a good industry for the metaverse and for Web3. It's yeah. actually good for it. It is. It is, but you know, let me let, let, let me see this, right? Um, uh, we're very excited about the metaverse, but I have a very strong view, which is that the metaverse is only going to be relevant and cool um, when it really relates to the real world too. Okay, right. a lot of people think that it's just one big giant pivot. It's not, because okay. if you think about the metaverse, they're really after experiences that we enjoy in real life. Um, the brands that are uh, really taking off from the metaverse are, frankly, brands that exist in the real world. Right. And we want to believe that having a physical and digital twin is very powerful. So we're doing a, a very big concert on the Decentral Land in a few weeks. And um, uh, when we do the merch, it's fun to buy the merch on the metaverse, but it's even cooler when we send that jacket or that hoodie to your doorstep as well. So you can actually wear it. Uh, to a nightclub or a bar or a lounge. And so we really believe in that omni experience. Yeah. And I'll also say that um, um, we have competitors, mm -hmm. but all our competitors are digital only. There are many open source fashion designers, but no one is also producing um, uh, clothing, physical clothing for independent designers. Well, this is all very interesting. <laughs> Wahid, thank you so much. I look thank forward you. to you know, talking more about this because I, I find the metaverse very interesting and how it can be a business play and change how we live. So thank you. Thanks so much, Jane. Appreciate it. Here at Glint, we're making money fairer. How? By using gold. Glint lets you store, exchange, send, and spend multiple currencies, including gold, through a simple iPhone or Android app. You can spend your currencies and your gold in small or large amounts using the Glint MasterCard. Register for your Glint account today by downloading the app from your favorite app store. Glint, the global currency. Hearing aids? Tired of paying $5,000 or more? Tired of making multiple trips to have your hearing aids adjusted? Now you don't have to. Our Hear IQ four medical grade hearing aids are fully rechargeable, Bluetooth compatible, and start at under $1,000 for a complete set or monthly payments of $44. Our hearing aids are self adjusting using any smartphone and features remote programming by hearing care professionals without you ever leaving home. Order your pair today at myhearIQ.com. Well, with the increased popularity of NFTs, there's a company, Stater, that does NFT lending. And with me is CEO and co-founder, Bogdan, to explain how this all works with Stater. So this is all kind of such a new and fascinating industry, Bogdan. Tell me more about Stater. How does it work? First of all, thanks for having me. Uh, at Stater, we are building an open source lending platform for uh, NFTs that uh, will help users unlock and leverage the value of their NFTs uh, without losing ownership. So basically, uh, as an NFT owner, you are able to come on our platform and uh, use your NFT asset as collateral for a loan in either Eat or Die. Interesting. Okay. So I happen to own an NFT. Um, it's not worth very much, <laughs> but how would I start the process of using that as collateral? 
So currently, the platform is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace, uh, which means that uh, as a borrower, you will have to create a loan package, set the terms of the loan, uh, and after that, uh, other lenders will uh, be able to do their due diligence and uh, provide you with a loan amount. Uh, after you receive the loan, uh, the NFT will basically be locked uh, in an escrow, in a smart contract, uh, and the repayment period starts. So you will have to repay the full, uh, the full loan amount. Uh, after you repay it, you will get your NFT back. Uh, and in the case of no repayment, uh, you will uh, lose your NFT because the loan package will be defaulted mm -hmm. and the lender will be able to claim the asset that uh, you have used as uh, collateral. So it basically looks works just like a home is collateral or a car or or something like that. Basically, it's exactly. concept, just an NFT. Um, exactly. So how do you see the product evolving over time? So this year we are working hard to automate the entire lending process um, for our product. Uh, and by that, we mean uh, offering uh, borrowers and lenders the possibility to to interact uh, without uh, without the spread that the peer to peer the spread that the peer to peer system has. So with this system, as a borrower, you will be able to get an instant loan for certain collections uh, directly by our system. Uh, and on the other side, as a lender, you will be able to provide the liquidity in a pool. Um, and the system will will uh, take care of the rest of the process. Uh, so we want to build that because uh, we want to uh, reduce the spread between lenders and borrowers uh, and also provide a frictionless uh, experience uh, for our users. Okay. It's very interesting to watch it all grow and try to figure out where it's going. So thank you so much, Bogdan, for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Keeping your four-legged friends healthy can certainly be a challenge, especially with painful joint diseases like osteoarthritis. If you see a change in your animal's mobility, contact your veterinarian and don't wait. Today, veterinarians have a new tool against joint disease. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. The natural-derived product has the ability to help your animal move more freely. Put the Spring back in their lives for a longer, happier life. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland using proprietary military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure doesn't collect or sell your data and doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. You can message and email non-secure users privately without the need for others to download Secure. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. Panda is developing their own unique mobile application, crypto wallet, and access to DeFi NFTs in the metaverse. And then we've also uh, got James Duchenne, co-founder and CEO of Loot NFT, uh, the first NFT battle bidding platform that uses a proof of play protocol to power a virtual world. So how exciting. We're going to talk about this today because it's always <laughs> such a great conversation. So first of all, what are you guys doing together? Well, what, what Pink Panda wants to do is uh, we're creating a widget for N-World and the Loot NFT metaverse. Okay. And basically what we want to do is, is create a very simplified user experience to onboard and on, an offboard um, USDC, you, you know, credits, right, coming into and out of the world because it's such a complicated ecosystem right now to send your money to Coinbase, to send it to MetaMask, to... You know, if you mismatch the wallets, all kinds of awful things happen, right? Yeah, so yeah. we're creating a really simplified way to get that money inbound and outbound of the metaverse in a fully compliant way that's extremely user friendly. So you're kind of creating the technology or the infrastructure behind that that make it seamless? Absolutely. Am I understanding yeah. that? Sure, right? that's okay. right. Absolutely. And, yeah. and I think uh, on our side, Loot NFT is creating Loot.
Ludverse, and Ludverse is a metaversal project that basically targets both enterprises, professionals, as well as the end user. So what we have is almost an enterprise grade solution where the metaverse is being built with layers of NFTs, and then visualization in 3D and renderings is applied to this. So you have the ownership of the, say, the land or the building or the unit, okay. much like in the real world, and then overlaid on top of that, we've got that live version for the consumers, the, the users, the explorers, the gamers, etc. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're building a core, and Pink Panda is basically one of our partners that's facilitating one piece of the interaction in and out from a cryptocurrency perspective, mm -hmm. um, and maybe later on point systems from mileage into the metaverse, etc. So yeah. that's what they're focused on. Well, and that's actually that's really needed um, because I, you know, I bought an NFT. My, my son and I wanted to, he wanted to buy an NFT. We did it together. I've done some other things with MetaMask. I mean, it takes like sometimes three minutes to figure this stuff out, <laughs> and that can't be sustainable. So it needs to be just super. It needs to be like Amazon Prime. Just agree. Do it. Agreement. Yeah. And where we want to go with this, right, is we'll start with this widget, but then we want to be uh, the first, one of the first wallets that has native integration into a metaverse, okay. right? So we start with the widget, then we move it into the wallet. So if I get on my wallet, I can check plot prices. I can check if my plot's being attacked. I can, uh, you know, check my point balance. I can <laughs> see where my bids are going, all those kinds of things, right? These are what you need because, yeah. not, you know, you're not spending every day in your VR goggles, right? You're on the road and you want to know what's going on on my metaverse. That's true. Yeah, we don't want to live in our VR goggles. That's right. right. And yeah. one of the things that I want to add to this as well is what you just touched on is user experience, right? Right now, it is a little bit all over the place mm -hmm. because as you say, you've got a MetaMask, then you've got the gas fees, and you know, my mom couldn't use it, for example, <laughs> oh, no. right? Like, it would be very yeah. hard. So when we look at, you know, how we're progressing in this space, I always take three things in consideration. The state of the technology today, the user experience, and the compliance. And all of these things, you have to juggle them at this point in time. So what we're trying to do is make the experience easier and simpler for everyone. Thank you so much. This is going to be fascinating to watch. So thank you so much for having, okay. us. for having us. I'm Anna Berry. This is New to the Street, your weekly hack with Elaine Guy. Elaine is with Globex Data, the leader in Swiss hosted private and secure communications and data management. Welcome back, Elaine. Thanks, Anna. Happy to be here. Welcome to our viewer. All right, so over the weekend, hackers stole millions of dollars worth of NFTs belonging to many members of the OpenSea marketplace. So this is mainly because of their emails, even that so-called private email like Proton. What happened here and how can we keep our data private and secure? Yeah, that's interesting. So this is what we call email phishing, which is essentially somebody impersonating as somebody you know tricking you to click on a link or to give information or to email back. And when they do email phishing like that, you know, this is typically something in the works for a while. So uh, they already probably have access to your email. They have monitored your emails. Maybe they, in that email, you discuss your access to the platform and so forth. So any kind of password, any kind of information that you email back and forth, these uh, hackers are monitoring. It's kind of like reading all your messages. Uh, and, you know, Proton Mail, it's, it's got a reputation that it's Switzerland. That's great. But so is Microsoft there in Switzerland, too. It doesn't mean a thing. Proton is an open source email. Uh, it's on their website. I mean, I know they keep changing what's on their website every time they get caught, like the other a couple of months, a few months ago, they were basically handing over the entire log data of this poor environmentalist in France, and then the French police went after the guy. And then essentially because Proton logs your, your email, now they say they don't, and then they do. They say they don't do any government uh, anything, but on their website, at least until recently, it had a big EU flag that they're, they use EU, European Union, grants, that means money, 
they're funded by government organizations. So of course, they're not going to keep anything private. And they do open source. And there's a pretty solid conviction out there that they're hosted by Amazon Web Service. So Proton is the least of all private email, I have to tell you that. And wow. security, when you send an email from a Proton user to a non-Proton user, it's like sending a, an open postcard on the internet because they don't have that secure sent technology that we do. Talk a little bit about secure send and secure mail and some of those features and the, 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 the bonuses and the pluses uh, users get from it, especially the privacy part. Talk a little bit about that on your end. Sure. So when you use uh, secure, um, you buy the secure package, seqr.com, uh, just like in your backdrop there, you add the dot com, you can go and check what we have. We have a secure package, which is email and messenger, and then we have the messenger only. Uh, soon enough, we're going to have the email itself. So secure mail, what it is, is when you use web mail, that means not from your phone configured, just from the web, we have a feature called secure send. And secure send is a way for you to email anybody in the world, even if they don't have secure, guaranteeing that the communication between you and the recipient is 100% private and secure. You can even password protect that email. You can uh, have a self-destruct timer, like in a week, in a day, in five hours. Uh, you can also decide how many times the recipient can read the mail before they have no longer access. And what's really cool is that the recipient, uh, so they get an email that says, you know, Anna sent you an email, click here. They click, the recipient can do secure reply right back to you. And that whole transaction, let's say, you know, you're in Atlanta and they're in Zurich, for example, uh, that whole transaction happens in Switzerland. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. Our servers are based there. Uh, they're our own server, our own proprietary tech. We don't host with any big tech. That means we don't do Microsoft, Azure, Cloud, AWS, Amazon, or Google. Uh, obviously, we don't data mine anything. That's against our own rules. And even technically, it's impossible for us to do the way we built the system. But what's even better is that nobody knows that you're emailing each other because it always stays in the server. So it's a great way to communicate with non-secure users and them not having to have secure and register and all that. Click of a button. Thank you, Anna. Reply back. Now, we, we have an email application coming out uh, later in March. And that email application will permit you to use secure send, secure reply. It's a choice. So I have my email here on my on my phones and I did it uh, here. So I have this, this email here that I have, uh, let's say for example, here at secure, and then you have, you know, all my regular email. I can configure my email there, but from the phone, I can't do secure send. I have to go to webmail, which means I have to go to my app here, which is here, and then I go to, I go to secure mail and it will prompt me to the web mail, just like a website. Now the app will be a lot better because you don't need to go to web mail necessarily. It will notify you just like a regular email app, but it's built by us. You don't have to configure to any phone. You just buy the service, download, you log in with your username password like any other app. And I'm pretty pumped up because that's going to be it's like the last link that we needed. So anybody in the world for as little as seven bucks a month, you can guarantee yourself and all your recipients full privacy of communication without any big brother, any big tech, anybody not liking your opinion, nothing. And it all comes with a hundred gigabytes. Wow, 100 gigabytes, and these are all upfront fees. So yeah. you know what you're paying for, you know what you're getting. Yes, absolutely. Right. Well, it's a very timely technology you all are bringing to us because it's about how much is our privacy valued at? How much is it worth? So thank you for joining us again on the Weekly Hack. We look forward to next week seeing what you guys are up to with all these great um, new technologies you're advancing with. So thank you for joining us again on New to the Street.
John Paul II was a beloved figure who advocated for the poor and sought to protect human life. He also helped defeat communism. Find out how this humble man from Poland became a most powerful pope and a great saint. Watch John Paul II, still alive. Closed captioning brought to you by MagnaLife Pain Relieving Foot Cream to target neuropathy symptoms. Suffering from burning, tingling, or stabbing pain in your feet? Get relief with MagnaLife Pain Relieving Foot Cream and get living. Also available as a 360 degree spray. My name is Diane. I'm an avid gardener. I grow lots of pretty flowers. I've learned how to make flower arrangements. I like to give them to people who need a little cheering up or need a little lift, you know, just to brighten their day. It's just like a little bowl of sunshine, you know, to deliver a flower arrangement. Well, I don't want to stop that. I want to keep doing that as long as I can. At a point in my life not too long ago, I was thinking I could never garden again. My back was hurting and I was not able to sleep well. I was told by my chiropractor not to lift anything over 10 pounds. It was discouraging. And then I found Balance of Nature. It's just been a no-brainer ever since. I feel great. I haven't been sick a day since I started taking it. With the Balance of Nature, I have plenty of energy. I sleep well at night. I have no back pain.